Looks like we made it. Can't stop the feeling. We finally made it to this day. Can you believe it? In just a few short hours, you're gonna be my husband and I'm gonna be your wife. Rich, as I sat down to write my wedding vows to you, the first thought that came to my mind was how humbled and grateful I am to experience the infinite depths of God's love and his faithfulness in bringing the two of us together. I'll never forget the feelings of butterflies I had in my stomach when we met and at our first date at a coffee shop. Before meeting you, deep down there was always a part of me that wondered whether anyone would be able to see past my disability and be willing to love and get to know me for who I am. But the instant I met you, those doubts and those fears quickly went away. That day as we sat and drank our coffee, we got to learn so much about one another. One thing that stood out to me from that day that I'll always remember is when you asked me why I was in a wheelchair. And as I shared with you the details of the car accident and what happened, I remember looking into your eyes as you listened to me so intently. And for a brief moment, I noticed your eyes got a little watery. And it was in that moment that I knew that you are a man who is kind, caring, compassionate, and so tender-hearted, all of which are characteristics that I asked and prayed to God for in my future husband. Catherine, today is the day, day one in our journey and adventures, in making much of Christ, an excellent wife who can find, I have found her. Night and day, you never cease to amaze, for there is much of you for my eyes to gaze. The strength of your arms to push your chair, to push even through what seems unfair. So I gaze at your strength, yet I gaze at something more. The compassion of your heart, it blows my mind. To love and serve is what you always try to find. So I gaze at your compassion, yet I gaze at something more. The way you laugh even through difficult seasons. Yes, you count it all joy for you know he has reasons. So I gaze at your joy, yet I gaze at something more. The hope in your eyes beckons me to look to what we cannot see so I gaze at your hope. But what I gaze upon even so much more is the grace of God that shines brightly in you. Who are we that he has brought us thus far? Therefore, it is in Christ alone I make this vow to you. By his strength and power, to uphold and sustain. I vow to always be there, even in darkest places I will remain. From this day forward, Rich, I promise to love and care for you with my whole heart. I promise to always remind you of how proud I am of you and support all your passions and your dreams. By his compassion and love, even to death on a cross, I vow to love and serve you, even if to such great cost. I promise to laugh and enjoy this adventure of life with you. I promise to explore all the best foodie spots and coffee shops with you. By his gentleness and kindness to patiently wait, I vow to lead our marriage in his timing. I will not leave it up to fate. I promise to always point you back to Christ and the cross when you feel weak and discouraged. And I promise to always fight for our marriage when things get tough. By his joy in making much of God and his glory, I vow to make Christ the center of our story. I promise to honor and respect you as my husband. And lastly, I promise to stand firm and be committed to keeping God centered and prioritized in our marriage as we pursue him together for the rest of our lives. And by his living hope that we embrace, I will keep this vow to you till we see him face to face.